What's up guys, JJ here, and today we're doing a setup for freshwater crabs. So I had an extra 10 gallon sitting around, so I decided to clean it out and get to work making a new crab attack. So we started with some regular sand, nothing special. And what we ended up doing was stacking the sand to one side so we could have a dry side of the tank and a wet side of the tank. After the sand was about where I wanted it, I started to add some rocks and other hardscape to give some visual interest. After that we added some bamboo, a great semi-aquatic plant that likes to grow with the roots down in the water, but with the leaves above water. And then I used an aquarium safe super glue gel to attach some java moss to these smooth river stones. And it was time to start prepping the water. A lot of small crabs are sold as freshwater crabs, but actually thrive the most in brackish water. So I added a little salt, got out my testing kit, and got the salinity to where I wanted it. But if you're not a nerd like me, you can just go to most pet stores and buy a bottle of crab water. I added the water to the tank and it was time to add some crabs. Now this guy was quite fond of that packing peanut, so I let him keep it to get acclimated. And then the rest of these guys were ready to dive right in. I should mention that off camera I added some large shells because I thought they'd be a cool interactive decoration that the crabs might use to hide in and make different areas of the tank. All in all, this is a pretty affordable build and I'm pretty excited because I've never kept crabs in my home before, only at the pet store. So if you were thinking of setting up some fiddler crabs, vampire crabs, red claws, uh, you could do something similar, and I think you might get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.